crispity, crunchy goodness. Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison, and I hope you do it so, so, but today, today, you guys, we are going to be making onion rings. Yes, ma'am. In my last video where I recreated Arby's, I will link it right here if you haven't seen it. I was like, I should make a um, like an onion ring mukbang, and um, so many of you guys in the comments were like, Queen, yes, do an onion ring mukbang. So that is what we are going to be doing today. I've never made onion rings from scratch before, but I love onion rings so so much and of course you know your sauce queen has tons of sauces to go with the onion rings today so I'm freaking so stoked so let's get started on making some onion rings you guys yes we're gonna get our station ready to um, dredge our onion rings. Oh, this is gonna get so messy. I should probably put something down right here. Hold on, right, I'll be right back. Right here, I have cut into rings some, this is a yellow onion, and I also have a red onion. It was a really big red onion, but like inside of the onion was two bulbs, so the rings are kind of weird shaped, but that's okay. We are just going to deal with it, and um, I'm sure it's still gonna be good. I've never had like a red onion in an onion ring, I don't think. Because I think they're usually the white or yellow onions, right? Anyways, okay, and then right here, I have our batter station set up. So this is the flour that we start off with. This has just like some onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, put, I put some paprika in there, I think, and just regular flour. And then right here, this is the Follow Your Heart Vegan Egg, since these are vegan onion rings. In replacement of eggs, we're gonna be using the vegan egg. I really like this stuff for battering, so it works well. You can also use um, flax egg. You can even like use almond milk. It won't work as well, but it will, it will still work. And then I have some ice cold water right here that you're gonna mix with it, but you have to like mix immediately and then use. So we'll, we'll get this mixed up here in just a minute. And then right here, I have some panko breadcrumbs. You can use regular breadcrumbs, but the panko breadcrumbs add some extra crunch. So this is actually roasted garlic panko breadcrumbs. They smell phenomenal. Mixed in with some Italian panko breadcrumbs and then I also did find some regular whole wheat breadcrumbs that I mixed in there for just like some more fine fine breadcrumbs um, to stick to the batter too so I also have a fork to like mix it up a little bit so the li little tiny wheat breadcrumbs don't fall to the bottom okay so let's get started don't let that ice get in there. Oops, there's an ice cube in there. I always put ice in the water because it says to mix with ice cold water. Let's see if that's enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this up really well. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is mixed up pretty well. It did call for a cup of water, but I used about a cup and a half. All right, so let's get breading. Okay, so just dip it in the flour. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then the egg. And then the pinko breadcrumbs. You guys are so excited for some freaking onion rings. Should we double batter them? Maybe we should double batter them. How does that sound? Let's double batter them. Can't go wrong with double batter, right? Okay, so this is what it looks like with one coat. Ooh, baby, we gonna make you crunchy today. All right, and then back in. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. <gasps> Yum, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, let's keep going. Let's do a red onion. This is a big ass piece of red onion. <laughs> I love onions, so I really don't care that it's thick. Okay, now in here. Yeah, definitely, definitely need to do two coats because it's not entirely sticking all the way around. I mean, I guess it would be okay, but you know we gotta have that crunch factor, so we gotta, we gotta double dip. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna batter up a ton of onion rings and then I'll be right back, okay? BRB. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how beautiful these onion rings turned out. I am so excited. 
Oh my God. Yum. For the sauces, and I know you can't really see all of them, but I have six, so let me like go through them really quickly. For this sauce, I have the Memphis barbecue sauce. This is a sauce that I bought at Aldi's. I didn't make it. Here I have, um, okay, this is kind of weird, but I just made this up. This is my cream of chicken soup. Um, soup, I made a casserole uh, yesterday, tater tot casserole, which if you haven't seen that video, here it is right here. You can go watch it on how to make the cream of chicken soup. But I had extra cream of chicken soup left over, you guys. So I put in here, I put freaking, um, I put sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, and fresh ginger, and some um, dark sesame, or dark soy sauce in here. It turned out pretty good. I like it. It's a weird sauce, but I don't know. We'll see. And then, okay, and then here I have honey mustard. This is just regular yellow mustard, agave nectar, and some just mayo. Here I recreated the Bloomin' Onion Sauce, you know, like from Outback Steakhouse. So this is vegan sour cream. You can also use vegan mayo, horseradish, oregano, paprika, um, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper. And then this is just the cheese sauce that I have left over from Arby's. Um, mm, I love onion rings and cheese sauce. And then of course, because like, you know, I love ranch. I was like, I have so much sauce. I don't think I need ranch, but you know, your girl needs some ranch. Um, this is actually some Chipotle ranch that I have left over from a couple nights ago when I made, um, uh, I made french fry tacos. <laughs> they were so good. And then I made um, chipotle ranch to go on top of them. Okay, so let's dig in. Which sauce should we try first? I kind of want to try the bloomin' onion sauce first. Oh yeah, this sauce is really thick. I should have watered it down just a little bit, but oh well. Mmm, okay. Mmm. Oh, yum. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Those are some good ass onion rings, you guys. Holy shit. The batter is so so crispy and it's really really thick mm. if you don't like like thick batter and onion rings I wouldn't recommend coating them twice but wow oh yeah we're so good okay let's try it with the cheese sauce mm. Mm. okay it's fucking amazing with the cheese sauce you guys oh Dude. Wow. <sighs> Holy shit. So some of the onion rings, I am like towards the end when the breadcrumbs got pretty like wet from the egg, the batter started becoming like it's, it wouldn't stick to the onion ring. So some of them are kind of weird, but most of them turned out good. But towards the end, the batter started coming off, but I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be good. Mm. Still crispity, crunchy goodness. Mm -mm -mm. I remember when I worked at Sonic, because I make like homemade onion rings there, right? I remember they had these huge tubs of onions, like this big, but like this big, full of onions and the same size tubs full of the batter. And I remember they would just like pick up all the onion rings with their fingers and like toss them in the batter and swish them all around and then toss them in the other batter and swish them all around like with the onion rings all within their fingers. I have like vivid memories of that. Sonic onion rings are the shit. I used to always get those with the cheese sauce and green chili on top. <laughs> Look at this one. Mm, okay, what sauce now? Let's try the um, weird sauce that I made. I don't even know what to call it. Let's see.
Wow, this would be really good with some noodles. Mmm. Um, it's like um the um like Thai peanut sauce that I make, but like creamy without the peanut butter taste. Mmm. Okay. And now this is the Chipotle Ranch. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That stuff tastes like the sauce from um, Taco Bell that they put on their potato soft tacos. Mmm. Okay. And now the honey mustard. I love honey mustard and you can make honey mustard with just mustard and um like agave nectar obviously it's not honey mustard it's like sweet mustard sauce because um vegans don't eat honey but the secret is you got to put mayo in it mm. You guys, I just did a Q&A, and I was certain that I was going to get to all your questions. I just couldn't. So, I'm really sorry about that. But one of the questions um, was, what is the worst date you've ever been on? Which I answered. But I wanted to tell you guys about one of the best dates that I've ever been on. So that's what I'm gonna tell you about today. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. I need some water. Okay. So, I'm just shading the sky. Hi, Kiki. Um, um, he was like, okay, I'm gonna take you out on a date. Uh, would you be interested in a picnic? I was like, fuck yeah, let's go on a picnic. So he said, okay, if you make the food, I'll do everything else. Done deal. You know what I just realized? I only used one of the red onions and ba to batter. Oh my goodness, it's this one right here. This is the only red onion there is. Oh well. So anyways, what should we call him? What should we name him? Let's name him Bob. <laughs> what a boring name, Bob. Okay, so Bob said, so where, so where am I in the story? Okay. So we're gonna go on a picnic, right? And I make all the food for our picnic. Okay, so Bob says, meet me here on Town Lake um, at uh, whatever time in the afternoon. So I said, okay. I have no idea what we're gonna go do, okay? Besides just a picnic, I mean, I know that. I don't know where or whatever. And then we end up walking down by the water. Down on the bank, like off the trail. I'm like, oh my God, where am I going? Like, I didn't wear the shoes for this. Um, and <laughs> we were like walking down this little mini hill down to the water. And at the water, are two big paddle boards. Just waiting there and the oars on the paddle boards. I was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna go paddle boarding, cool. 
And then he goes, okay, you see over there? And he like points out across the water. And um, okay, so we were like by a bridge, right? And um, you know how like the bridges have like pillars and then what's like a concrete slab, like right at the surface of the water, like right above the surface of the water. Um, they're called pylons. I didn't know that they were called pylons, but um, he points to the pylon right across the water. And on the pylon, you guys, is a um, a table with like a tablecloth like flowing in the wind. Like, and I'm like looking and I see this tablecloth flowing in the wind. And he's like, that's where we're gonna have our picnic. <laughs> so he puts um, like my cooler on a paddleboard and then um, I get on the paddleboard with my dog and he like fucking paddles me out there like he's like my own personal gondola man um paddles me out there and on this pylon he put like carpet slabs like carpet slabs and a little table and oh my gosh and he's like okay and he drops me off i like climb up onto this pylon and he drops me off and he's like okay set up the picnic and i'll be right back and he he goes back and he gets um you know his dogs and his stuff and then I'm setting up the picnic and we have a little picnic like right there in the middle of town lake on this pylon it was so fucking cute you guys and then so we eat and then we go and we paddleboard around the springs and all that stuff and it's so much fun and then like the sun is going down so we paddleboard all the way down to the South Congress Bridge or South First Bridge. I'm not sure which bridge it is where the bats are, but we paddleboard down there and we watch the bats sitting on the paddleboards. Like we had our paddleboards kind of like, you know, just like sitting close together and we had all of our dogs on the paddleboards. And it was so much fucking fun and it was so like romantic. And then so we watch the bats and we're sitting out on the water and like hundreds of people are sitting up on the bridge just like staring down at us like while we're like the only people on paddle boards in the water and like all these like tour boats are going by us and stuff everybody was so like as they passed they were like oh my god that's so cool i want to get paddle boards and do that i was like you guys should but anyways so we watch the bats and then we go back to where the picnic was And we ate the rest of our food. And I had some margaritas. Which were really good. And we just chilled there for the rest of the night. We slept there because like he had like this little makeshift bed that he put there. <laughs> and we spent the night and then I woke up. I like opened my eyes and I'm like on a pylon in the middle of Town Lake <laughs> with this dude and dogs and it was fucking awesome. So that's the best state that I've ever been on. Try and top that. <laughs> what? What, Kiki? Dude, these onion rings are freaking bomb. Dot com. Yes, ma'am. I was thinking I could make like a blooming onion. But I opted for onion rings instead. This one is extra thick. She thick. Mm-hmm. You guys. I'm here for all these sauces. Holy shit. Mm. My favorite is the barbecue sauce, the honey mushroom, chipotle ranch, of course. Oh my gosh, the cheese sauce. I love this one. I totally forgot about it. Mmm. 
Mm. Right, pretty good. Oh my god, you guys. I filmed a whole entire mukbang with Callie the other day. I didn't even fucking turn on my microphone and the whole video is trash. It's gone. No sound. Nothing. I'm so fucking bummed. <sighs> Sucks. <clears throat> but you know what? Oh well. She did vlog it, so um, she's gonna put some inserts into her vlog. So if you want to see a little bit of it, there will be some on her vlog, but I'm so fucking bummed about it, you guys. Ugh, sucks. Mmm, barbecue sauce. Mmm. Well, I am so full. So, that is going to be all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.